Hey, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and if you want to know how to do the Tilt Shift Miniature Effect with Magic's Movie Edit Pro, just stay tuned. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So what exactly is the Tilt Shift Miniature Effect, and what about the time lapse? Well, here's some examples of one right here. You see the focus at the top and bottom is off, and here's a camera that's tilted right here, and here is one where the lens is shifted. And the idea is to make the image appear in a different place or the focal point appear in a different place on the film. And you can see here where the lens is actually shifted towards the top. Here's an example of a movie that's done with tilt shift right here. And see how it gives the characters sort of a toy effect when they're moving around kind of jerky. And that's what we'd be doing if we were doing a stop motion video or a time-lapse video. So we can kind of combine those things together to get that toy looking effect. Okay, let's take a look how we might do that with Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, let's start with an open project here with Magic's Movie Edit Pro. And this is the Plus version, the 2017 version, but it's very similar to 2016 and 2015. They should all work. Uh, maybe even some of the older ones. So what we want to do first is make sure we're in timeline mode. So that's this icon over here on the right. So we'll just click that, get in timeline mode. Now we need to drag in our picture. And I have a picture of a train here that I want to make it look like a toy train. And here's what it looks like right here. It's just a train going down the track. Now you'll notice this is at a high vantage point. So get up on a building or a mountain with a telephoto lens and get your shot. Or nowadays you can do what I did and use an aerial photography drone. And you can get all of the high vantage point shots you need. And you can even pan like I'm doing right here with a drone. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is duplicate the movie. So to do that, we're just you basically just highlight it like this by clicking on the movie, make it yellow, and then press the D key for duplicate. D key on the keyboard does that. Then just grab the top one and slide it over. Now you have two identical videos. Okay, now they're unselected right now. I unselected them. Let's select both of them so that we can apply an effect. So I'm going to hold the control key down on the keyboard, holding the control key, and clicking each video. Okay, now they're both selected. Now what we want to do first is go ahead and apply a little extra color or extra definition to it. And we do that with saturation. So let's go into the color effect. So you want to be on the effects tab right here and we want to be under video effects if it isn't open just do that open it up go to color right here and you'll find the saturation now just bring the saturation up a little bit actually a lot because we want to make it look like a toy train so let's bring it up to about 82 so it's really bright and that applied to both of these objects because they're both selected and that's why I selected both of them so they're both selected now. Okay, so they both have saturation. Let's unselect them by just clicking down here in the empty space. Okay, now let's go ahead and click the left hand one right here. This is the one that's going to be on our top track. And this one will be on our bottom track. So on the top track, we're going to add some blur. And the way we do that is we go to sharpness so we're still under video effects here so just go down to and find sharpness and use the artistic blur not the regular blur but the artistic blur and we just want to add enough blur to make it look like a lens out of focus so I'm gonna give it about seven right there but I'm not doing it to this clip over here just this clip Okay, so now that that's done, we can deselect that by clicking in the empty space. Let's go ahead and drag this clip down underneath. So we've dragged that clip underneath the top one. And so this bottom one is the one that's showing now, not the blurred one. The blurred one is being covered up by the one on the bottom. 
So if we go through, all we have is the saturated one on the bottom with no blur. Okay, next, we're going to need a mask. So let's go ahead and drag in a mask. Now I have a mask here that I downloaded off the internet, and I think you can get it from Magix. And we'll put it right here and then just stretch it out to go the full length of the video right there just grabbing the end of it right here and dragging it so we got the full length of the video okay now that we've got the mask let's go to the chroma key right here and we'll pick alpha now what we have is just the clear part in the middle that the mask lets through. So that gives us our look that we wanted to achieve. So, so we've got it now. Now it looks pretty much like a toy train. As you can see right there as it's moving along. Now we just need it to make it more like a time lapse or make it more jerky. So let's move these all to the beginning. Now the way we can do that is click on this icon right here which is a uh, all track mouse mode and then we can just drag the whole thing to the beginning alright and we can even click on this double arrow down here to make it fill the whole track and make sure our beginning and end markers are at the beginning and end so let's just make a few tweaks to see if we can get it looking a little better let's go to the top track right here we'll go in video effects and we're going to go down to sharpness right here and let's just make the artistic blur a little bit more okay let's just try eight right there it looks a little bit better okay now let's go into the color on both tracks so I'm gonna hold the control key and select the bottom track as well and now we'll just scroll up here to go to color it looks a little bit too red yellow so I'm just gonna pull this center wheel down a little bit just move it down say right in there finally let's go to just the bottom track right here and we're gonna go back down to sharpness I think it would become more apparent if I bring the train into view right there you can see without the sharpness there's a certain amount of blur to it even though the mask is letting it through I guess it's motion blur but if I bring it up to about 60 you can see it looks more toyish that way okay okay now let's go ahead and export it so file export AVI okay now once we're in AVI we can go ahead and change the frame rate and you can make it as slow as you want I think I'm going to run it down to about 12. 15 would have been all right, but I think I'm going to go try 12 and to see what that looks like. And we want a TL in there. And then we'll go ahead and export it. And after this is done, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Now I'll play it, and there we go. It kind of looks like a toy train moving along. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And if you happen to have time-lapse video already, you wouldn't need to change the frame rate because it, it would already look jerky. But that is an effect that I applied to it rather than actual time-lapse. You can make a decision on whether you want to do real time-lapse or just an effect. So if you want to see more Magic's Movie Edit Pro tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and check that notification box in the subscribe area. Here, play.